Hello, my Flamazing Flock, and welcome to a brand new school year. School starts on Monday, and I am so stinking excited to get this school year started with you. One of the things that I want to do this year is to read you a story that you'll be able to watch either at home. If you don't get a chance to watch it at home, you could watch it in the classroom at different times. But this will be like a little collection of some of my favorite stories. Some of them we might hear again in class. Some of them, this might be the only time that we read them. But I thought this would be a fun way for you to have just an extra story time um, and somebody to read it to you. So I'm gonna start this story time with Elmer. Elmer is my favorite little elephant. He is just so precious. And this story is by David McKee. And you'll have to see what happens with Elmer. He's very special, but he doesn't think he's special. So let's see what happens. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, elephants short, fat, and thin. All were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. He's my kind of elephant. I love Elmer. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to do with those berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until those berries fell on the ground. Then Elmer laid down and rolled all over the berries. This way and that way, he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked just like any other elephant. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. So they didn't recognize him. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. Let's see if you can find him. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, 
He could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice he shouted. jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another, the day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, well, you will know it must be Elmer. I hope you enjoyed that book. Have a great day.